All right, and then moving on to some of the stuff we saw in college basketball this week. The Purdue Boilermakers, they went down for just the second time this year. Uh, the number one team in the country, they took the loss to the Indiana Hoosiers. And Brandon, Trace Jackson Davis, 25 points, five blocks. Jalen hood Shafino, 16 points, and also kind of that game-winning uh, finish at the rim. The Hoosiers, you have to imagine they're going to be rising up the rankings this week. So how do you feel about, first, Jalen hood Shafino Because he has, in my opinion, been kind of being slept on in the draft. Yeah, I know a lot of people in the Big Ten talk about Jet Howard and him being one of the better freshmen, but I think I think Hood Shafino is right there. I know we talked about him earlier in the year, but I, I feel like Hood Shafino is a guy, like you said, who's kind of underrated, but got underrated. But I think also, too, he's, I think just looking at him, he's probably one of the better shot creators in this draft class, I feel like. Uh, just because of it, the way he changes his speed and like the way he can stop and go, I think that's a, a skill that's really valued in the NBA. And he might not be the most efficient shooter all the time, but like he's a guy who he can be a good second, third op, second or third option, or even the guy who comes off the bench and you know gives you a lot of helpful minutes. And I think too he's going to be a guy who gets into the league and uh, we're going to be talking about him in a in a year or maybe even a few years, and we're like, yeah, this is a guy who we thought was kind of slept on a bit, and we're showing you why. So. Yeah, he's got a pretty big range in terms of mock drafts. I know we talked about it earlier, how a lot of these mock drafts tend to be incorrect, but he's currently not on the Tankathon mock draft. A recent Yahoo one had him at number 30, and then the ESPN mock had him at 20. So pretty big range going from 20 to not even drafted right now. Uh, it might just be that Tankathon's not updated enough, but... I feel like Jalen hood Shafino to me this year, would, it, it's kind of like the Andrew Nemhard of last year's draft where he had a lot of solid games in college, mm -hmm. seemed like a pretty you know consistent point guard, and then he kind of just slides in the draft. And with Andrew Nemhard ending up in Indiana, he's been a, a pretty solid rookie for them at times. Um, that game winner against the Lakers still sticks out in my mind as one of the best plays of the year. But I don't think... Jalen hood Shafino will slide that much just because he is a young player and a freshman and a lot bigger of a point guard. I think he's like 6'6 six, six or 6'7. Six, well, yeah, he's fine. really strong too. So he's going to hold up at the higher level. And I feel like he needs to get a lot more looks because he can hit threes. He can play make. He, he's strong enough to get to the rim. There's really not too many weaknesses that Jalen hood Shafino has. Yeah. I One thing I do want to talk about is even though uh, we're saying he's a little bit slept on, I think I think I'm a person who kind of wants him to kind of fall a little bit just because I want to see him kind of play with some younger guys that can help him develop a little bit more. And he's a guy who shoots more mid-range and like gets to the paint more than he that does like actually shoot threes, I feel like. So if he's a player, you know, where he can, you know, play alongside some veterans who can help him kind of because when you're a player who plays in the mid-range and the paint, you, you have to be smarter, if that makes sense. Like, you have to find ways to, you know, craft through defenses or get uh, get behind center so you can get to the lay get to the rim and finish. And I think Hood Shafino, he would do good with, like, having, like, say he went to the Heat or, you know, somebody, and he played with a point guard veteran like Kyle Lowry. I think that would be really good for his development. And I feel like he's a player who should just be on a good team because... Yeah, I'm glad you bring that up because I was actually about to go there. I mean, the highest we're seeing him go is about 20 right now. And I'm looking at teams like uh, Phoenix Suns at number 20, the Clippers at 21, Miami Heat at 22. Those three teams, very you know, competitive teams looking to make that last piece to jump to the next level and be championship contenders. I feel like you match up Hood Shafino with Devin Booker in the backcourt would be a very nice mix. And then, you know, same kind of thing with the Clippers and he you got a lot of veteran players that need just that consistent point guard that can get the job done. And I think Jalen Hutchafino is that guy. 